Hey guys, Troy from Roadside RC. We are here today with our Axial Wraith uh, to try out something new, something that we haven't ever had in a vehicle before. Um, you will see in this Wraith that we have one of these Power HD waterproof 23 kg servos. Uh, very popular. If you read reviews online and everything, everybody really likes these servos. So we've had them. We've had them in crawlers, bashers, all sorts of stuff. Um, but something caught my eye the other day, which is this 35 kg cordless. So I don't think I've ever had a cordless servo and certainly not in a 10th scale, same size and everything, a 35 kg. That seems like it's probably got a lot of power. This comes from Zuske, Z-O-S-K-A-Y. Um, comes in also two different angle configurations, which I think might be interesting for this. This ser same servo can come in either a 180 degree servo or a 270. This is actually the 270, which is probably super duper overkill. And I'm going to have to really worry about setting my endpoints correctly. But um, I don't know. Just figured I'd try it. It comes for under 40 bucks. You get the servo. You get the plastic hurl horns and stuff that you really never ever use. And then uh, it actually comes with a fancy aluminum servo horn. So what we're going to do is just see a comparison of, hey, this 23 kg that's really popular that lots of folks use, 35 kg. Can I see a difference as the rank amateur that I am and, and the person who doesn't really know the fine details a lot of the times or notice the fine details, I would say. Um, let's see. Is it a big enough difference that you want to pay the difference in order to upgrade to this 35 kg? And uh, would, would we recommend it for yours? Let's check it out. First up, this is the 23 kg servo uh, just sitting here. Obviously just stop, stopped on my uh, workbench. And this is, look, there we go. Doesn't have any power, problem turning these tires. This is just me throwing it from side to side. Here, I want to try something a little bit different. What if I hold the front of this tire and I try to turn it, does that bog it down at all? I'm trying to figure out how to really test the power of the servo, right? We set it on its side. Oosh, all right, it'll turn, right? It's trying to lift the weight of the truck. Which, although, of course, I'm getting a lot of flex in that plastic axial arms, but the servo's turning. It's doing everything I'm asking it to do in that kind of a situation. Um, anything else as far as if I'm trying to bind it up. I mean, we're starting to, if I'm holding the wheel straight, it's actually starting to flex the arm and move the chassis. So truth is, I guess I'm pretty happy with that. So what we've done here is we actually disconnected the front linkage completely. So the servo is absolutely unencumbered by anything. And I've also taken the steering dual rate on the uh, controller and actually maximized it. So from how this is setting right now, as near as I can tell, this should turn as absolutely as much as the servo will go. And so turn this on. What I want to see is using a basic angle finder, woo, it'll settle down eventually, right? Versus zero degrees, how far will it turn? So if I come all the way over here, I get something about a 55 degrees. And if I turn the other way, I get something around 35. 35 degrees off of level, 55 degrees this way. Um, so I want to be able to see 55, 35, I want to be able to see one with the new servo in since this is a uh, 270 degree servo, do we actually get more swing out of it than this? Because this is one of the things, this is claims to be a 180 if I remember right. And there's no way that's 180, that's like a 90, right? So we'll have to just see what that looks like and uh, do we notice a difference when we put this servo in? Okay, so as we're getting ready for this, one thing that we're checking out, 
old servo. This is the axial horn that's usually recommended for this kind of an application. Here's the aftermarket one where um, this bit comes with it. Honestly, pretty nice. Double locking and everything like that. Slightly longer, so pay attention to that. It looks like uh, my setup was in this outermost hole with the axial. As we put this new horn on, I'm probably going to be using that uh, inside hole just to keep everything apples to apples as we start. But hey, you know, clamping horn and all that looks good. Let's try it out. Okay, new 35 kg servo installed. New fancy servo horn also installed. So let's give this a quick look. All right? Look at that. Hey, so it does pretty good. Turns both directions nicely. But if you remember right, so unless I'm missing something as far as how this stuff programs, this was claimed to be a 270 degree servo. Um, man, maybe maybe I just don't know something. Maybe there's something I just don't know about these. Maybe there's some detail that I don't know when it comes to how servos work, but I'm not getting. So either I'm not telling it to turn 270 somehow in some limiting factor, or it just doesn't do it. Um, I guess I'm glad I didn't buy the 180 because I could clearly turn down my endpoints from here way down, right? And limit how much steering I have. This is me turning the endpoint adjustment knob. But yeah, that's, I mean, this is, that's maxed out on my endpoint adjustment. Maxed out. But it turns dang near 180, so that's actually pretty good. So one of the things we did. All right, so coming from zero degrees, the other one was 55. This one is under 30, like a 28. And then I did that, so not right up to 50. So yeah, at the end of the day, it turns more than the 23 kg did. So if you have this one and you need a sh higher turning radius than what this one would allow you, uh, turns out this one will do it for you. So just messing with this, I noticed something. So this is the servo again, 23 kg. This is the one that came off of it. If I take this, when we did the test with it powered up, it would only turn about here to here. It only turned, I'd say, a little bit past 90 degrees total travel. As I take it unpowered, it'll literally travel there all the way to there. So that's more than 180, right? Because it's almost straight left then up here to there. So it actually travels a pretty good distance. Um, that's more than 180. That's great. Just un just free turning. But check this thing out. It will. So this is not powered on. This is. It'll just keep going. Is that because it's a cordless servo? Like I don't. I don't know this stuff very much. But I can turn that one all the way around. <laughs> and then if I power the truck back on, it only turns that much with my endpoints all the way maxed out. So I don't know, I don't get it. Maybe you guys are smarter than me. Hey, if you guys are smarter than me and you know what I'm doing wrong, let me know down in the comments so that I can figure this out because it'd be kind of cool to be able to use it differently. So hooked back up, linkage hooked back up. We now can turn our steering trim just slightly to make it look like it's centered. All right, and then look at this thing. Is it really faster than the 23 kg? I don't know, good question. But man, it sure moves those tires with ease. I mean, check that out. That is not even trying. Obviously, I need to set my endpoints because if I slowly turn over now, what you'll see is I actually start to flex. <laughs> I come to the max and then I start to flex these arms a little bit. Um, hey, that's maybe a positive of having the plastic links in there is instead of breaking something you flex it But um, yeah, that looks good. One of the other things that we tried before Is if I held a wheel And tried to turn oh my gosh, that's actually really strong Wow, wow, that's actually I, that's okay to my dumb hand uncalibrated hand that is noticeably stronger than 23 kgs Wow, that is a, there is a, there is a noticeable difference there. Look at that, it's actually picking up the inside tire, whereas before it didn't, it wouldn't really do that. Dang, that's fun. All right, hey, look at that. Hey, more power maybe is better sometimes. Check that out. All right, so hey, hey that was kind of fun. Um, so, Zuske. 
35 kg servo that, that's 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 actually kind of cool um it looks like the power is fine for anything that i'd ever need it it's like really strong speed is good um price is good uh, i'll leave a link to it below in the description in case you guys want to check it out yourself see if the specs line up for something that you're going to want for some project that you're working on but otherwise uh yeah that's pretty cool so um there it is zuske 35 kg coreless digital servo right there all right hey thanks for watching bye